Hi, Chris with RC Worst here. Today we're going to take a look at the Zoller 53 Series Sump and Effluent Pump. The 53 Series is designed for use in residential or light commercial applications and can be used to transfer groundwater or effluent. Now as a standard, this series offers cast iron construction for both the motor housing and volute for maximum durability and heat dissipation of the motor. The underside and legs of the volute on this particular pump are engineered thermoplastic, although cast iron and bronze can be ordered. Additionally, the underside of the pump volute has a screen that will not allow solids larger than a half of an inch to enter and damage the pump. Though pumping solids is not this pump's purpose, the occasional bit is expected and often unavoidable. With this in mind, Zoller included a non-clog vortex impeller, which reduces the chances of it becoming clogged or getting bound. A vortex impeller by design is further away from any solid that enters the volute to minimize the possibility um, of impact or contact of the material being pumped. For optimal life, it's best to avoid pumping solids with this pump. Uh, this pump features a vent hole, which prevents air locking of the pump. To learn more about the vent hole, check out our vent hole video in the description below. The motor housing and volute re receive a corrosion resistant powder coated epoxy finish. The Model 53 utilizes a one third horsepower motor and is available in 115 or 230 volt single phase. The motor housing is oil filled for both lubrication and cooling and in general, a cooler running motor always is gonna to translate to longer motor life. This pump's motor also features thermal overload protection to further protect the motor. In cases where the pump becomes too hot, the thermal overload protection will temporarily disable the pump motor. The pump is rated to pump liquids safely at a maximum of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The 53 has one plug on the top of the motor housing for easy draining and filling of the, of the dielectric oil. The hardware on this pump, including the easy lift handle, float guard, float switch arm, are all stainless for maximum corrosion resistance. The float is made of a buoyant polypropylene, which prevents water from saturating the float and causing a malfunction. This pump is capable of a maximum flow of about 43 gallons per minute and has a shutoff pressure of about 19 foot of head, which is roughly eight and a quarter PSI. As with every Zoller pump, these are 100% pressure tested, submerged, and run before they leave the factory to ensure quality and reliability for years of trouble-free performance. We have the Zoller model M53 here as an example of what you can expect uh, with the automatic models. The M53 means that this pump includes a two-pole mechanical float switch. This one in particular has a vertical float switch, which is gonna be ideal for those smaller sump applications. This particular pump is rated for uh, sumps as small as 12 inches in diameter. And this pump is also offered with a wide angle float switch for larger diameter applications, as well as a manual version, which does not include a pump control switch at all, which I have here on my right. The power cord on these pumps are a standard 15 foot in length, though longer lengths can be ordered. This would be a great pump to have on the job site for general dewatering, just as much as it would be a suitable pump in your home basement for sumps that operate quite regularly. To learn more about this pump, the pre-assembled packages it comes in, or to review specifications and installation guidelines, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. Thanks for joining me today, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And, uh, we may feature those questions in a future video, so we greatly appreciate those. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. Have a great day.